then that's when I shifted to Proximo. I ended up uh, applying for the chef job there, and um, I ended up getting the job. So it was a, a new experience, another restaurant downtown. Um, definitely learned a lot. It's definitely one of the hardest things I've ever done, as, um, especially the first few weeks of opening. You know, right when the restaurant's pretty much getting on a consistent schedule and, and you know, people are starting to feel comfortable with it, daily operations, start talking to my wife. I'm like, hey, I, I got to this point now. I, it was extremely exciting, extremely challenging, but I still have this itch, so I don't think it's going to go away unless we do something different. And that's when uh, we got to the point where, like, you know, why don't you start a food truck? And I'm kind of battling, do I want to do a food truck? I kind of want to do a restaurant. Uh, restaurants are really expensive. Uh, food trucks are as well, but food truck was something that we could probably do within our means at the time. And so this is just last last year around Thanksgiving time, right around January is when uh, I you know, communicate to James that, hey, I think this is the, the path I want to take. Uh, I wanted to see that, that that's position through for at least a few more years as being the chef there, but I knew that it was just going to be, um, it's going to be a loss of my time in a sense that um, I want to make sure I push myself a little bit sooner and not wait for this opportunity to come again. 